Here's what's happening at Swanee Middle School. Let's get started. Construction has been doing a lot of interesting activities lately. I saw they've been making projects like Halloween jack-o'-lanterns, finishing up their nail art projects, and building Adirondack chairs. Yearbooks are now officially on sale. They'll be $40 through March 15th, and starting March 16th, they'll be $45. To order a yearbook online, go to this link. To purchase an ad in the yearbook is $150 for a whole page, $125 for half a page, and $90 for a fourth a page. To do this, you can contact Mystery at this email to get help from them to design an ad for you. Or go talk to Ms. Stray in the front office. Make sure to reserve one before it's too late. Speaking of getting a hold of things before they're gone, the band shop is selling stickers, buttons, trinkets, and more. Make sure to stop by in the mornings before school if you're interested in their selection. The students that made A on a roll got to have a celebration in the media center during school. That must have been a blast. Also, you may have seen the students in the JROTC wearing their uniforms every Wednesday. In fact, they had an awards award ceremony that same day. They're definitely doing great things. Seeing them every week is inspiring for sure. The Kindless Club, sponsored by Ms. Jolliker, had a meeting Wednesday at 8 a.m. to recruit members to the club. Instead of going to the cafeteria, they met in her room. There were lots of in-class activities this past week. As well, the art students took a tour of the art room on display. At the library, students were able to see a variety of pieces. I'm sure many were inspired by the experience. The sixth grade students were also inspired by a guest speaker on Friday, October 20th. Mr. Nick Hur shared his experiences in the military. Mrs. Bauer, Mr. Smith, and Mrs. Jolliker have been having a variety of guest speakers. It certainly brings their curriculum to life. That's all that's going on at Swanee Middle School this week. Join us next week for more of what's happening around the school. What does cause mean? Well, cause means the reason why something happens. This disease can cause blindness. Purpose, objective, and create are some synonyms of cause. The first oranges were not orange. Here's your weekly sports recap. Let's get started. Football and volleyball seasons are officially over. Congratulations to all the athletes for their well-played seasons. Although it's bittersweet that those seasons are over, it's time for a new beginning with soccer, basketball, and wrestling seasons. Miss Lewis would like to remind the girls' basketball team to make sure that they get signed up for the sports insurance. You can find the link on the school's website. In eSports, the Titans played against Out of Door Academy, MS1, and we won. And the Speed Demons played against Techno Saints, MS1, which we won. Good game, everyone. If you're interested in watching one of the UD sports games while being in the comfort of your own home, check out smscsports.com. On November 2nd at 4 p.m., the Titans are competing against Team MS1, and the Speed Demons are going against the STB Bobcats. Best of luck to our teams. Don't forget, if you want to watch any esports games live in person, Miss Neal has tickets to give away for free. Also, this week's esports Minecraft teams are finishing up their fall spectacular builds. Their spectacular builds are ways to show off their fielding and storytelling skills while constructing an original creepy character and forming an environment around them. In other news, basketball's first game of the season was on October 30th against Crossroads. We have some more games that are right around the corner with our November 2nd basketball conference games against Madison at 5 and 6 right here in Live Oak. Also, on the 8th, we have a boys and girls basketball game against Florida High, which are also conference games at 5 and 6. We will head to Tallahassee for them. On the 30th, our boys and girls soccer teams had their inaugural game of the season also against Crossroads. On November 2nd, our soccer teams are going against Taylor County at 5 o'clock. 
And on the 6th, our girls soccer team is going against Madison's girls soccer team in Madison at 5 and 6.15. Don't forget that ticket prices for soccer or basketball games are $3 for students and $7 for adults. Let's all show our support for SMS by going to upcoming games. We will be there. Will you? Blue whales eat half a million carries in one mouthful. It's Halloween, and my favorite candy is finally easy to find. What is your favorite candy? I hope it's not candy corn. How did you know that? Well, well, did you know that there are many facts about candy corn that even I, a candy corn lover, didn't know? Well, what are some of those facts? Maybe you can change my mind. Well, one of my favorite facts is that candy corn is not just made for Halloween. It's made for every holiday. Really? No way. Yeah, yes way. There's Valentine's, Christmas, St. Patrick's, and even the 4th of July candy corn. That's weird. I've only ever had traditional candy corn. Well, I've had all the other flavors, and they're delicious. Also, did you know that there are over 9 billion kernels of candy corn sold per year? 9 billion? I wonder how long it would take someone to eat that many. I don't think you could. Don't doubt me. Okay, then. Well, each individual candy corn is actually very different from each other. But they don't seem different. They all look the same. Well, I actually thought each kernel of candy corn has its own unique shape, much like a snowflake. Wow, so each one is really different. One of the craziest facts about candy corn is that it was originally called something different. When the Wonder Old Candy Company first produced candy corn in the late 1800s, it was actually called Chicken Feed. The boxes were illustrated with a colorful rooster logo and a tagline, something worth going for. But what, what do you think, think about, about candy corn? corn? This white, orange, and yellow candy is really good. It's too grainy. I don't want it. Actually, we took a poll for that. We asked SMS what they thought of candy corn. Here are the results. Well, as you can see, candy corn isn't super popular with our students. The facts are there, folks. Candy corn is not loved on our campus. Well, on the public poll, almost everyone loves candy corn. Ew! Must be a Gen X thing. Well, we've got to go buy some candy corn, right, Thaw? Right. What's your favorite candy this time of the year? Enjoy! Enjoy.